My name is Ben, and today I want to discuss the infamous Tuskegee experiment and the effect they had on modern research ethics. So first, a little background. The study, which was called the Tuskegee Study of Untreated Syphilis in African American Men, was a public health endeavor in 1932, which sought to record the natural history of syphilis in black men. A total of 600 men, 399 of which had syphilis and 201 did not, were enrolled in the study. The participants were given an incentive in the form of medical care and free meals. The researchers told these men that they were participating in the study to be treated for bad blood, which was a local term used to describe several conditions and illnesses, including syphilis. The study lasted for 40 years, and when it first began, there were no proven treatments for syphilis. At least, that was the case until penicillin became the standard treatment in 1947. In modern times, if a drug or treatment has been proven to make a difference, researchers are required to stop the study prematurely and give the treatment to the control group. However, such measures were not yet put into place, and this treatment was actually withheld from all subjects. The subjects were never offered the treatment and were not told the truth. This meant that some of the subjects who had syphilis died and or spread it to their spouses, who then gave it to their children through pregnancy or at birth. This all happened even though there was a very simple treatment that could have saved or helped all of them. In 1972, information about the study and the number of people with syphilis who were not ever offered treatment spread throughout the entire world, sparking international outrage. A panel of people from various fields was put together and it determined that while the patients participated in the study freely, they did not know the true intentions or even the true name of the study. It was not informed consent. They were not told the truth about their treatments and were left to suffer while the researchers thus observed. The study was then shut down and subjects were compensated with free medical and burial services. The spouses and children were also given those benefits. This study had a major impact on the ethical standards we conform to today when conducting research. The process of informed consent was stressed and became a mandated part of any study involving humans. This also led to the 1979 Belmont Report, which summarizes ethical guidelines for research involving human subjects. It also led to the establishment of the Office for Human Research Protections. The federal government also created new policies and rules when it came to research, most noticeably regulations requiring institution review boards, known as IRBs. These boards review the protocols for a study to make certain they are following ethical guidelines. Overall, this incredibly unethical experiment led to many rules and regulations, especially for studies involving human subjects. It truly stressed the importance of informed consent and completely changed our ethical standards. My question is this. Studies like these destroyed people's trust in researchers and even in public health. Why is the trust of the general public important for scientists and researchers?